for the people saying that Baker Mayfield could be an option, if you've listened to the show, you know that Phil and I aren't proponents of that. Like we've said that that ship has probably sailed just because it's probably sailed. Like there's probably no repairing that relationship. So this is coming from Kerry Medrock. He's down there in Texas covering this youth camp, and they're speaking with the uh, – with Baker, the media. I asked Baker Mayfield if there was any chance for a reconciliation with the Browns if they were without their quarterback this season. He said the Browns would have to reach out to start that process. Mayfield said he has moved on. So yeah, It's just weird how he put that. One minute he says they got to reach out to start this process. What process? The process of him maybe playing this year? yeah. Or, but then at the end he says Mayfield has moved on. Is that meaning he talked to him more after that and basically said he's moving on? Or then, or you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know. Because he said he first said what he uh, they got to re- they got to start the process. Meaning, yeah. So there is a direct quote here on this tweet. I'm pulling that up right now. Here we go. He says, no, Baker says, no, I think for that to happen, there would have to be some reaching out, but we're ready to move on. I think on both sides, Baker Mayfield, when asked if a reconciliation could be reached with Watson to sit out the season. Still a lot of gray area in that. Still a lot of gray area in that. Because basically he's confirming. He's like they gotta they gotta reach out if we can yeah. do anything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And or and he could be like they just gotta reach out before we do completely anything. Correct. And here's the bottom line and all that: they're not gonna reach out. There's a mutual dislike between Baker Mayfield and the Browns. Maybe I could be dead wrong on this take, but knowing everything that we've known, the fact that they went super acquire QB mode once Baker turned that you know trade request in. Right after Watson, they got from Brissett. Right after Brissett, they got Dobbs. They added another dude, Felix Harper, that was just a you know camp arm that maybe they could bring back for a training camp. They know that they don't want this dude back. They wouldn't have set out on this voyage yeah. down to Houston with this in, you know investigative whatever to in look into these twenty two cases. They wouldn't have given the guy two hundred thirty million dollars guaranteed. The Browns knew that they were ready to burn the bridge with Baker Mayfield, and For whether sure. that was the right decision, talk about decisions. Whether that was the right decision or the wrong decision, they knew when they boarded that plane that their relationship with Baker Mayfield was done. Whether they got Watson, whether they didn't get Watson, whether they got Watson and he could be sent to you know Alcatraz for all we know, they knew that Baker Mayfield was not going to walk through those doors ever again. And Baker just kind of put it there that there would need to be some reaching out. And now it's up to the Browns. I don't think they're going to reach out. Oh yeah, if I was Baker, yeah, you're gonna have to add a couple more under that 19 year old. <laughs> if you want me to come play, yeah. We're gonna <laughs> run-